Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, participating in Unisham Cipher International Conference 2020. Insha'Allah today uh, we would like to discuss some of the findings from our research on the role of zakat in reviving the economy during COVID-19. And this uh, research is uh, co-authored by uh, Yusuf Haji Osman, Muhammad Saleh Syekh Yusuf and uh, Muhammad Tahir Cik Omar. And uh, as an introduction, uh, zakat uh, plays an essential role in promoting a more equitable distribution of wealth. That is the philosophy of zakat. And uh, in addition, uh, zakat also has the philosophy of uh, creating a sense of solidarity, a sense of uh, ta'awun, helping each other amongst the Muslims. And uh, during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the role of zakat becomes uh, incre in increasingly more significant, especially during this time of uh, COVID-19 crisis where the uh, economy is severely and adversely affected throughout the world. Zakat institutions throughout the world are responsible for collecting and distributing zakat to proper recipients. Yeah, this is the concept of zakat mm, as stated uh, in the Quran. Meanwhile, uh, zakat institutions also have uh, the role of providing social welfare and building social capital uh, among the Muslims through the zakat uh, collections that are collected from the uh, eligible um, zakat payers among the Muslims. So the zakat collection is uh, uh, voluntary in most countries throughout the world, in Western countries. Uh, however, um, uh, what happens is uh, in certain countries like Malaysia, Pakistan, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Sudan and Yemen, the, um, the, there are laws that make it uh, compulsory for those uh, people, for those Muslims who are, who are eligible to pay zakat, to pay zakat to the uh, respective uh, zakat institutions. So Muslims um, have to have to have this uh, kind of uh, paradigm shift yeah, during this uh, crisis, eh, this uh, pandemic crisis, because this is the crucial time. This is the troubled time where there are many people who have been uh, severely and uh, adversely affected by the uh, by the uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis. There are people who have lost jobs. There are people who have um, suddenly um, are becoming poor, yeah? uh, where they used to be in the middle income earners and suddenly because of the job loss, because of the income loss, they have uh, fallen into the uh, 
category of the uh, B40. So uh, zakat institutions uh, must uh, utilize zakat funds uh, creatively uh, in order to help revive the economy by uh, by giving the uh, for example the uh, capital to small and medium enterprises uh to to get started to to start a business and to earn a living and to get out to get out of the uh, poverty so in this study we discovered there are numerous ways of uh, how zakat should be uh, distributed creatively and uh, interestingly we found that uh, Zakat uh, distribution increases uh, in in certain parts of the world. Uh, in Kedah, we in Kedah, Malaysia, we found that uh, zakat collection actually uh, increased uh, during this COVID nineteen. Perhaps because of the um, paradigm shift, where people feel like it is uh, their obligation to pay zakat and uh, the impact of zakat would uh, would uh, have a positive impact on the recipients. And uh, the good thing is uh, we found that the zakat institutions in Malaysia acted rather quickly uh, to relieve the suffering of those uh, uh, individuals who have been uh, severely and adversely affected by this uh, COVID-19. And uh, we found also that during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the distribution of zakat have a significant impact in uh, assist assisting those uh, who have been affected by uh, this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Pandemic. There are people who are uh, finding it hard to to survive, uh, to 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 uh, find uh, food for survival, um, to find uh, food to to help the hunger. Yeah, so uh, zakat actually. Uh, plays an important role in uh, achieving some of those uh, SDGs, uh, such as um, zero hunger and uh, uh, poverty elimination. And uh, this study discovered new that there are numerous ways of uh, zakat distribution, and. Uh, during this uh, pandemic, the zakat uh, collection actually had a significant impact, especially to those uh, affected by the COVID-19 in terms of uh, giving them uh, uh, food and uh, medical assistance and also some sort of uh, capital uh, to help those uh, those uh, recipients, those asnafs, to uh, start a small business. Actually, in 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 Malaysia, there are uh, several there are uh, zakat institutions um, in each uh, state of uh, Malaysia. So each uh, state uh, in Malaysia has uh, zakat institutions that um, have been uh, institutionalized according to certain laws, and some of them are under the administration of state Islamic religious councils. Examples of um, zakat institutions uh, are Kedah State Zakat Board in Kedah, Federal Territory Islamic Religious Council, Zakat Collection Center, PPZ, Ma Mawib in uh, federal territory and uh, Zakat uh, and Selangor Zakat Board 
in Tlango. So we found that uh, these Zakat institutions have played a significant role, positive roles, in assisting those uh, people adversely affected by the COVID-19 in the uh, in the respective states of Hakada Federal Territory and also Selangor. So in conclusion, uh, this study uh, uh, attempted to explore the role of Zakat uh, in uh, assisting and uh, supporting those who have been uh, affected during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, we revealed that Zakat actually uh, plays an essential role in realizing the philosophy of uh, Islamic finance itself, uh, which, uh, which is to protect uh, society's uh, welfare during this pandemic, especially in terms of uh, survival, eh? in terms of, of food uh, guaranteeing uh, food uh, security security to those uh, who are in need um, and, and other stuff in order to survive, including the uh, medical assistance uh, for those who are poor and uh, in need of uh, medical assistance uh, when when they are they, when they fall sick or when, they have been affected by certain uh, uh, cal calamities uh, like a uh, flood. So the proposed uh, solutions uh, uh, by this study include uh, saving lives, yeah? um, including giving them uh, medical assistance and health care and uh, food supplies, uh, clothing, uh, accommodations, uh, and all those um, and and other needs uh, in order of, for those uh, who have been severely affected to 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 survive. Uh, we also discovered that zakat, uh, in a way, could uh, save uh, households who have lost their jobs and those who have struggled. Uh, to survive by uh, creating certain uh, mechanisms, yeah, certain ways to assist them, to help them to to continue living. So uh, that's uh, what uh, we would like to share with you uh, about the uh, impact and the role of zakat in. Um, assisting those who have been uh, severely affected by this uh, COVID-19. Hopefully, Zakat can play a more significant role during this um, post-COVID-19. Uh, thank you for your attention. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.